Hi, and welcome to my third installment of I Bring You Music Because MTV Won't, my series of MTV on YouTube. So today, well, I decided to do uh, Woodland Park in Seattle because I figured since I'm here now, I can actually go places and I might as well film here. So you can see it's a really pretty park. Seems to be pretty big. It's pretty nice. It's right next to a zoo, but I don't do zoos, so I'm just at the park. But, um, so I wanted to do this more on location if I can from now on. And I know it's taken me a long time to get to this third installment, so I'm sorry about that. But yeah, so the first video I have today is Stars by Hum. They're a very noisy, totally alternative 90s, I think they've been called space rock, kind of grungy, just really melodic, very catchy, and just all around good rock and roll. Um, the, the music video is kind of cool too, it kind of has like some filtered colors, it's, it's pretty cool. Um, the second video is, well, I don't, I'll have to try and see if I can find the video, but it might just be the song for now until I can find one. But I'll link all of these below and try and have them in the video too, like little links in the video. Um, so the next one is Idiot by Catherine. This one's kind of the same type of thing, very 90s alternative, very noisy, very totally cool rock and roll. The video is awesome too, um, if I can find it, hopefully. Yeah, just all around a good song. Totally, you'll be like, oh wow, this is totally 90s, because well, it was from the 90s, but it gives you that classic sound. Um, you'll, you'll know when you hear it. There's a few different classic sounds of the 90s. The next one is There Goes My Baby by Wide Wide. This one's a new band, but it sounds, again, like it could be from the 90s at least. This one's really catchy, really rock and roll, but it sounds, it's uplifting. It's like, the type of music you might hear in a commercial or like a movie or something and just it'll it'll make you feel good it's a good song and the video is kind of interesting too <laughs> and then the next one is ugly by skating Polly this one I've come to love a lot because they're very grunge like they have the essence of grunge this the vibe to it like they're very down-to-earth this one in particular is about not wearing makeup and it like going through that whole thing um, they do the loud, quiet, loud thing. Um, they're just all around a good band. Very, you'll you'll just get the vibe of grunge when you go through their stuff. It's very stereotypical of that, but like in a good way. And uh, it's like the singer kind of like is a reminiscent young female Kurt Cobain in a certain way, but in a good way again. It's it's really good. I like them, and I wish them much success. They've been doing a lot recently and starting to get up there a little bit, at least more attention. So I hope they continue with that. They're good. They deserve it. And the next one is Albatross by Corrosion of Conformity. This one's more of a stoner rock vibe. I love this one. I love Pepper Keenan's slight um, southern accent when he sings. It's really good. Totally smooth. Totally awesome. You'll love it. And then, let's see, the last one I have is Swim by New Sensei. This one's really grungy, really dirty, really just, like, perfection of, like, the gnarly part of grunge. And it's really awesome, female-led, just all around good. I'll see you for my next installment.